What's up guys, welcome to the Masterpiece Shoe Channel. Now today we're going to review the Gatiana Girling Cambridge. Just a little uh, background information about this shoe. I've had this shoe for about, I want to say seven years. And um, it's a size nine and a half F width. Now this is my very first Gatiana Girling shoe. Um, the reason why I got F was because like most European shoes, they're pretty narrow. And me, I have kind of wide feet. Uh, I wear a size US 10. And um, I was just sort of traumatized from my previous purchases of Italian dress shoes. Now the thing is with Italian versus British shoes is that they're actually much, much more narrow. So with that mindset, I went ahead and ordered these in a size F. This is the TG73 last. And, you know, initially I had there, there were, um, I had sent out several uh, emails to uh, Gatio and the Girling saying, hey, look, uh, I kind of have white feet, uh, you know, uh, can you give me some basic measurements on, you know, your TG73 standard width? And I don't know, I kind of went, I went back and forth with those guys and I just said, you know what, I'm going to just get a wide uh, F width uh, last. And in doing so, well, it turned out it's actually a little bit wider than I thought it would be. So, um, so when I got it, I was like, wow, you know, these are actually real comfortable. Um, as, uh, you know, as I realized, you know, the TG73, it, I think, I want to say it's their sort of go to the, um, uh, what was that word? Their, their standard selling lasts, uh, the one that they're most famous for. And even though I have wide feet, I think a, a, a standard size E would fit me fine. Um, so with that said, uh, I mean, these are by far the most comfortable dress shoes I've ever had. Owning them for seven years, I mean, I could wear these, you know, I wear these to the office and I wear them, you know, my days are like 12 hour long days and, you know, it doesn't bother me, you know, uh, wearing these shoes. You know, I, I've worn other European shoes, other makers, and I just can't wait to take them off as soon as I get home. With these, um, I could just wear them all day. and. Basically, the reason for that is, you know, is a lot of the structure that's built into the shoe. Um, I want to say that a lot of the structure is built here. You know, what this does, like I said on my previous video, is that there's a lot of structure around here and also on the other side as well. So if you feel it, it's actually pretty stiff on the bottom. Okay, and what that does is it maintains the shape of your foot. So over time, you know, your feet expand. And I want to say that these just hold your foot into shape. So with that said, in addition to that, these did originally come with the oak bark last. I'm sorry, the oak bark sole. But I had them resold by Gaziano and Girling uh, with their Winsome sole. And the reason for that is like basically where I work, I, I walk on asphalt all day. And, um, you know, even though they do say oak bark is durable, I mean, I, I found it just wearing down like rather kind of quickly. So, you know, I just, uh, you know, after about five years, I ended up with, I think, like a hole here. And you can tell that you do need to swap out the sole because when you push down on the oak bark lath or I'm sorry the sole it'll feel really thin you could feel your other hand on the inside you know when you put another hand or your finger inside the shoe and one up against here and you meet you'll notice it's really thin and so I wore it down to the point where you could actually see the cork and um, you know I emailed the Gatian girly and they said you know what you probably should use a winsome uh, sole uh, it's long lasting and when I got it back, it was like a brand new shoe. I mean, look at the stitching on these guys. I mean, the stitch mark is really super clean and tight, right? I mean, this sole, I've, I want to say I've been wearing for close to about a year and, you know, there's barely any wear on this thing. I mean, it's really hard. The thing is, is that, you know, these soles are actually heavier. So when I got the shoes back, I mean, the shoe did weigh a little bit more, but who cares? I mean, it's just a little bit more. And if you look at basically the restitching work, look closely right here. If you look at the stitchings, I mean, 
you know typically what you'll see on resoles if you take it to a shoe cobbler what they'll do is that they'll reuse the original uh, welt and the machine in most cases you know um, you know so some places uh, my, my cobbler guy said you know he can reuse the same holes um, other places they don't really give a damn about that they'll just re-perforate the the last I'm sorry the welt and you'll see like double holes so it looks super nasty you know you don't want a shoe you don't want, you don't want to be paying this much for a shoe and you see like a bunch of other uh, blank perforations you know in your welt in addition to that I mean so they do a wonderful job I mean look at the heel work I mean you can't even tell that this was resold it, it looks like they, they just put on a brand new welt and just restitch the whole thing I mean when it came back I was like whoa this is a brand new shoe again I was like what the heck happened I never seen work like this before in addition to Gaziano Girling, I mean if you look at the detail work I mean look at that uh, broguing right here right this is a cap toe but look how look how clean these holes are and look how clean the the cuts are I don't know what you call these jagged uh, cuts or something but if you look at like you know some of these uh, you know lower end shoes you know you'll see they're not as cleanly cut if you look at the jagged marks you'll see some perforations they're feathered out a little bit but I mean these are super clean and if you look at the stitch work right here look how close each stitching is I mean that's remarkable you know some of the things I mean you know when I talk about the detail work you don't necessarily notice them up front you, you know the most you know most common folks be like who cares man you know you're just gonna wear the shoe the thing is is this is as you start taking care of your shoe you know I only use uh, Saphir products the thing is like after years and years of taking care of your shoe you start noticing every single defect and every single I don't know issue that comes up on your shoe and you start noticing these things you know in the beginning it doesn't bother you much but you know as you start taking care of them, you're like man you know look at look at the detail work on the shoe I'm just like just panning the shoe around look at the stitch work on this guy I mean that's stuff you don't see on you know typical dress shoes these days you go to the mall they're gonna send you some uh, some leather treated uh, dress shoe and the stitch work is is nothing like this but you know these they, you, they charge you 600 bucks and at the end of the day you know it falls apart after about a year and you're like what the heck did i just do in addition to that i mean their leather if you look at the leather i mean it's so smooth i mean look at look at that right here i mean i got a little nick right there i'll just put some saphir product to cover that up one of these days but if you look at the leather it's so supple i know um I don't know, I wish you guys can touch this thing, but it's so soft, you know, compared to some of these cheaper end shoes you buy, they're super stiff, but these are so soft, and, and it's a testament to, to Gaziona Girling that, you know, every single material that they do choose to build their shoes, I mean, they do not skimp. Everything is, is the utmost highest quality, and their detail is just profound. And what and if you guys look at their toe you see how it kind of ramps down like uh in a previous video like the art deco i mean that's something you do not see in regular production shoes typically it'll just be like a it won't arch down sort of like an eagle's foot it'll it'll just round off and look super ugly <clears throat> so you know uh, you know you don't notice these things initially but you know when you take um <clears throat> excuse me folks uh, when you take um, photographs, for example, you know, when I'm wearing a suit, you know, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll capture an image of my shoe with it, and these shoes just pop like no other. You know, this is the shoe that I get my most compliments on. When people see them, they do like a double take. They're like, what kind of shoe is that? You know, first of all, look at the shape of the, of the last. I mean, you know, what kind of shoe company basically hugs, you know, this is like the ball of your foot right here. I mean, the way that it hugs your foot, it, it's, it's like no other. I mean, most shoes that you wear, you know, don't wrap around your feet this close. So when people see it, it's, what they do see is almost like a foot, but with this beautiful shape to it. 
In addition to that, it's this striking red that catches, that, that catches people off guard. <clears throat> so, I mean, uh, you know, with Gotti on a girling, they, they make the most beautiful shoes, I honestly think. And, and, you know, there's other manufacturers and other makers that do make beautiful shoes. But what sets these guys apart is the fact that it, it's a comfort. I can wear this all day for like 12 hours and I'm not bothered by it. You know, this, I, I do have an arch on my foot. I want to say a high arch, but you know, these guys, the way they shape their last and everything, it, it accommodates for that arch. Um, later I'll get into uh, some other shoes, uh, especially uh, some of these Romanian brands and they're so flat I had to have um, an insole made so it'll accommodate my arch. But I'll get into that in another video. In addition to that, um, I use the Scotty Bola Get shoe tree and you know they do say that you know they're built in I, I want to say Northampton where basically uh, Gatsion and Girling gets their shoe last made and I want to say that that shoe last is very um, it fits the TG73 last most accurately um, I did try it on some of these other lasts and I'll get into that later but um, this I think is at home with the TG73 last so with that said uh, please comment down below, tell your friends, hit the subscribe button, and see you guys next time.